Hey, till 1998, people used to believe that the universe works like a ball. When you throw it up, it will eventually come down. But the universe is continuously expanding and the rate of expansion is continuously increasing. It's like throwing the ball up and it never comes down. This is Devansh and welcome to how the universe will end. The universe is continuously expanding. The reason we don't know, but we do know that it is because of dark energy. Well, what exactly is dark energy? It is all theoretical and we actually don't know because it's all a question mark. But these theories have led to the two different causes because of which our universe could end. The first of them being the big rip. Expansion of universe, we don't know how, but it creates equal areas everywhere due to which large galaxies like Andromeda, Milky Way and various other galaxies are drifting apart. But the area where gravity is strong, such as the galaxies themselves and planets, stars, black holes, they have strong gravity due to which the celestial body is held together. But as the speed of expansion of the universe increases, galaxies and gravity won't be able to keep up due to which the gravity will lose its effect and then will start the big rip. First, the major celestial bodies such as the galaxies will drift apart, will actually rip. Then the stars will rip apart. And finally, when the speed of expansion of the universe is faster than the speed of light, it will affect them in the atomic level. And then the atoms will be affected and they will also be ripped apart and they will never be able to meet. It's like, even though both the particles will try to meet each other, the expansion of the universe will be so fast that the area created in the middle will be faster than they can even travel. So that's why they will never be able to meet. And that's the end of our universe. It does not prove, or does, it does not show that a new universe will ever take place. Energy. If there is less dark energy than we think there is, well, at some point, the expansion of the universe will stop. And then, Gravity will be the dominating force due to which the expansion will stop and just like a balloon it will come back to its original size and it is known as the big bounce. Before we proceed with the big bounce, let's talk about the big bang. First of all, it's not an explosion. It is the expansion of the universe from a single point, a point so small that 13 trillion of those points can be placed on a single pinhead. And now, Big Bounce is the quite opposite. Rather than expansion, it is the contraction of the universe towards that single point. It's like when the universe will contract, the temperature will rise. And thousands of years before the actual Big Bounce, the temperature will rise more than most of the stars in the universe, due to which the stars will be cooked from the outside and they will end. Then seconds before the Big Bang, the temperature will rise so high that the atoms will start splitting and turning wild. And just before the Big Bang, supermassive holes, black holes and black holes will take over everything. And just again, there will be an expansion of the universe. And it shows that Big Bounce is an infinite number or infinite series of Big Bangs and Big Bounces. Here ends my presentation about how the universe will end. I hope you liked it. This is Devansh Agarwal from Jiri Public School, Sector 9. And this was how the universe will end.